they invited me down here to hunt. I hunted here 25 years ago, I hunted here. On this episode, we're gonna have our buddy Hank Parker out there. This is a very special place. Oh yeah, he's tight now. He said one time, probably wouldn't say it on a bass tournament, but he said he fished for a living so he get to go hunting. He wants a great deer and he's not afraid to hunt a long time to get one of those. He's bringing his compound bow. We've got other plans for Mr. Parker on this trip. Lynn and Sid have inspired me to be a traditional archer. If you could train me to shoot that longbow, that deer would be an awesome trophy in the home. And I have enjoyed the fire out of it. I'm a coming out you! So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna be hunting on the side of the creek tonight. All right, Lynn still hadn't filled his tag yet either. You might want to stay tuned. But we got a pretty nice deer back here we're trying to shoot. Wish us luck. We need it. The standards are dropping. Jake's my middle son. Uh, graduated uh, this past year. And uh, this was the fall just before his graduation. This is one episode you don't want to miss. Stay tuned with us. Spend time with your family, be kind, uphold the law, or a few things you can do to be like Paul. Oh, we ain't got a little fight to it this morning. Go to work, go to church, keep your word, that's all she wrote. Or a few things you can do to be like God. Come on, go. If you want to be like Rev, get in the word when you awake. Listen, keep your faith. Read Jesus, right along every step you take. back in Kansas and Goat, he, he done killed him a, a big old deer and Rev got him a deer and they're using the muzzle loaders. Well, I didn't use my muzzle loader this year. I didn't really have a deer big enough that I wanted to shoot with a muzzle loader. And... I need to get it done before Mr. Parker gets here, so I got the longbow and we're gonna go see when Find one big enough to shoot with it. Mr. Beatty, explain to the viewers why you didn't shoot that deer. Because he was a juvenile. <laughs> hey, what you're going to see on this episode is you're going to see a period of about two weeks where these guys are grinding it out in Kansas, trying to get it done. Okay, me and, me and Goat were back there hunting behind the house and we would had pictures of a lot of deer, but didn't have any really giant deer that was there. But we had some nice ones to shoot with a longbow and these deer came in and it was, uh, it was a nice 10 point. He was a really good deer for a, a longbow and we just kind of had to be patient and kind of get him a little quarter and away type shot. And... Got him. And it took us a little bit to get him there, but luckily the wind was in our favor and he turned out to be a really nice buck. I think he's a nice deer. I, I wasn't wanting to say nothing, but I was like, I what in plain is shooting that deer? <laughs> I think he's a pretty nice deer. Yeah, hit him a little bit further back. Yeah, but at that angle, he was going right towards that right shoulder, that right, that right leg. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. The Way It Was is brought to you by Hybrid Light, Wise Eye Technology, Conviction Game Calls, I had to look at him a while, and then I thought about if he got a got look at him. Is he big enough? Look what you're shooting there. I know. I thought about that, too. <laughs> I just shot him with a long bow. Lynn finally got the deer in he wanted to shoot, and 
It looked like he made a great shot. I, you know, I thought the deer was going to be just didn't wouldn't go far at all. Uh, it'd been a long season, and we were all excited. I put it. He got care. I hit him right on the spot that I aimed at. It looked like it might turn into one of those famous the way it was recoveries. We studied the pictures pretty hard last night, and we got that much error in the deer. So we got a pretty good idea this deer is dead. We just got to find him. I done notified Ma last night that we need some prayers, so I believe in him. So let's go back there and find him. Now, if y'all will follow us on our show, you'll find out recoveries are always seem to be a challenge. And we're back at the house again. We've been looking for that deer since daylight this morning. And we both give out. We get to find the evidence. All right, our buddy Hank showed up. What you walk we got out. here is failure to communicate. <laughs> he's fired up like a five year old, buddy. He's ready, he's ready to rock and roll and chunk arrows. He'll be going 190 inch deer, and they want to put me on a 140. Red spot. Both of those guys have been friends since high school. They've done it all, and they've learned without all the mega information that we have. They've learned by trial and error. You gotta lock in on that you know, spot. They're awesome outdoorsmen. You know, Kansas is a state that uh, is right there with Iowa. I've hunted all over the country, and Kansas is a magic place. Said yes. You're a very truthful man. Y'all come on with us. No way to lose on that, brother. <laughs> oh, look what we got right now. Well, let me ask you this right here. Had you shot at this deer before? Not this deer. You sure? I don't know. You think I did? Well, hold on a minute, Lulu. Lulu, give me Oh, a I did do. I did. <laughs> I shot her twice. I shot that, a ghost on like this, we couldn't figure it out. I shot at her. And then she ran over here and then she turned around and came back about five minutes later. And I did shoot her twice. <laughs> so you can't shoot her in the foot. You gotta hit her in some part of the body. Hey, y'all, come on in. We got, we got somebody really, really knows how to say bless. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to say bless? Yes. Uh, Paul's been very gracious to my boys. You gotta say bless before you graduate. You know that. That's right. He's let both of my older sons, Jeb and Jake, to come for a graduation trip, and uh, this is Jake's graduation trip. Remember the Father's Day was a wonderful day. Pray that he blesses food we're about to eat. Thank you for Paul and Goat fixing for us. Jake's got this huge heart. That made me realize that one thing in my life that is consistent is Jesus Christ. That's how I became a lot He loves people. He's very tender. I pray that you be with us and help us all kill some big deer this week. Watching him grow up and uh, graduating and about to, you know, change a chapter in his life. And I pray that we just stay safe and healthy the rest of the week and we have a prayer. Amen. What's great about Jake is um, he's got a heart for Jesus. Uh, the doe comes in, he decides he's going to take one and 
something just tore in my shoulder. I can't pull my bow back. Yes, I can't pull my bow back. He can't pull his bow back. cold did a beating on my shoulder joint. We tried a couple times and finally got the bow back. That's a domino right it's there. What? Domino! You know, some days you just have to really work on not getting aggravated. But this wind was supposed to be north, northeast. And it has blown in every direction. We've had deer just all of a sudden going high alert. We gotta clean the deer. Oh, you got him? Nah, he's got a doe, a little before 10. We never saw any buck. We saw little four points, two of them. We had a really good deer uh, at daylight for just a few minutes and he left. And now we're going we back. I hope he comes back. And today we're looking for a big buck deer. And we're hoping to get the arrow stuck in the big buck deer and get to hold this horse for you shortly. So you stay tuned and see if we pull it off. It's gonna be suspenseful. That deer that y'all are calling Wormy, I think the reason he's skin and bones is because he's at the end of his life cycle. And I got a plan. Now you tell me. I'd love for you to teach me how to shoot that longbow. Let me borrow your longbow. And let me go out there and practice and see if you think I'm capable. Then now we want to talk traditional archery. We want to talk longbow. Wow, now that is a challenge. That's beyond over the top. I'll shoot mine with the top feather in. That's what we're going to want. That's what I'm going to shoot mine. If, if it was gonna happen, I guarantee you the man I would bet on would be Hank Parker. You just look at that spot on that deer. Uh-huh. Dead deer. And you're just putting a little pressure on that. hold that air in place. And that'll hold your air in place. Fine, that's a good shot. That's a pretty good group. Now we're started all over again. You gotta sit down. You gotta sit down. This is him. He's standing there. This is do or die. Pressure's on. Killing shot. decided that he'd had enough. He took Andy his gun, his badge, and his one bullet and turned it in. I'm turning my stuff in. I'm off the force. I'm going back to my training wheel. No. Oh yeah. No, no. Oh yeah. People say you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. <laughs> now let me explain something. If you're gonna shoot traditional archery, uh, be prepared to miss a lot. I got word this morning from Clark Cronin and them that y'all found a deer in the lake. And just so happened I shot one a week ago last Wednesday down here on the fence up on that north line. Okay, we back to the deer that I shot. I told y'all our recoveries are not normal. Well, we thought it was a good shot, but we never got any blood or nothing. Me and Goat have some miraculous recovery sometimes. Our recovery is not walk out there normally and find animals, but we're going to take you on a recovery of the deer that I shot. This recovery was not exactly the kind that we wanted. If you're bow hunting, you will not find every deer you've shot, but you have to put in the effort 
to go find that deer. I looked at my slot and it said 215. I said, the rail will be pulling in the driveway right now. All right, well, I just want to check and, and uh, make sure y'all made it in. All right, Rail. We are home. I sure appreciate it. Okay. Oh, oh, one yes, other. Sir. I did need to tell you one other thing. Uh, I just went down, we all loaded up, went down to protection and picked up them deer horns that I shot the last Wednesday. Uh huh. I'm gonna send you a picture of him. Where, who, how? He was, they found him at the lake. It was a bad feeling. We didn't get the meat. We didn't get to put our hands on him, you know, but um, at least he was able to, to say, I've got my deer. Here's my, I've got it tagged out for the year. Hate that we lost the meat, but sometimes that happens. Uh oh, Bo got good video on it. We can prove that this is the deer that was on video. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. Got him. Hey, let me just say, get them both out of the way. Y'all get out, <laughs> cover your ears up. Cover your okay, ears. I don't want to hear. Uh, These guys have more fun deer hunting than anybody I've ever seen. They go out there and shoot a doe and kill 172 and some change white tailed deer with character like you won't believe with a longbow. Now I'm gonna tell you something that nobody else will know. This is the scoop. They shot at a doe and missed him and went out and picked the arrow up. And the arrow they picked up, they killed it there with. Is that not true? How does that happen? But that is the truth. <laughs> awesome, man. Now you see that? That is a dead deer. We ready to get one. I swung at a pitch that went over the catcher and the umpire and hit the backstop. Everybody in the crowd just dying laughing, you know. I thought, all right, I'm gonna make up for it. I'm gonna make up for it. Hey, right down the middle, son, and here it comes. I know the pitch and get right there, you're out of here. Oh, I missed it. It wasn't the teacher's fault. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. But I think I got it. Where I'm messing up is my draw anchor. So I'm just using my thumb and I'm gonna quit trying to go to my fingers and I'll stop right here. That's the thing, everybody ain't the same, but whatever, comfortable, yeah. as long as you go well, to the same it's... spot. Okay, I think. Mr. Parker had a, had a really good time with his longbow. I'll never tell you what fun. He was not successful on this hunt. We had more fun. I, I've had a ball. <laughs> Think about that. I, uh... But he, he it built the urge inside of him that he was going to kill a deer with his longbow and he loved it. You know what we have realized, and you've just watched an episode of the guys and Hank in Kansas, and uh, we take really serious a feeding program uh, wherever we are, whether we're back home in Louisiana or there in Kansas. Lynn and Sid uh, do a great job of keeping uh, their deer uh, in food, whether it's protein, uh, corn, and uh, just a lot to eat around there. And uh, you, you notice, you notice, especially the Midwestern deer who have the groceries, they just grow a little bit bigger. Um, and it's so important to feed um, and for your, your deer to get the, the right nutrients and to get the right protein. Well, you know, it's, it's like that too in our spiritual life. Listen to what Jesus said. He said in John chapter 6, verse 35, he said, I'm the bread of life. Now, if you're reading all of the Gospel of John, you realize he has just done a miracle where he fed 5,000 men. Uh, just with a little fish lunch, he fed 5,000 men. That's not counting the women and the children. Could be close to 12,000 people with, a, with just a, a three, four, five piece fish dinner, right? I mean, it was just a little boy's lunch. And, um, and then he says later, he said, I'm the bread of life. If anyone 
comes to me, he'll never hunger. If anyone who believes in me, he'll never thirst. I want you to think about that. It is important in wildlife to get a good feeding program, especially in our deer herd. But it's even more important in our spiritual life to be fed by the right things. Jesus is the bread of life. We'll put a lot of things into our life and feed on a lot of things, but Jesus said, I'm the one that can sustain you where you'll never hunger and thirst again. I wonder, do you have a relationship with Jesus? Have you fed on Him as the bread of life? If you haven't, we'd love an opportunity to talk to you. Uh, you can go to this website at the bottom of the screen, inthehunt.org. Um, and uh, on that website, it'll talk you through some things, ask you some questions, and you can even ask questions to counselors on a live chat format, spiritual questions that you might have had for a long, long time. We'd love a chance to connect with you. Hey, thanks again for watching The Way It Was. The Way It Was is brought to you by WTL Ministries. Swacker. Three Rivers Archery Monster Meal